everything seems to be in working order. <sighs> Time flies. The week does, at least. After that, generally, awful video I did for Monday, on many reasons, or occasions, or points of view, whatever you want to call it, it wasn't good. It could have been better. So, I've gone ahead and uh, promised to at least do a little better on this one, while maybe the subject matter won't be the greatest. At least I'll try a little bit better. I've made notes. And did a little looking around for potentially a map I don't think of that, or a theme I have not done yet. So I'm hoping, at least I don't think I have, I haven't done this one. We're doing airports. That potentially it's a lot of uh a lot of photospheres and just be ready for that to happen. Now I've only been to a couple <laughs> of airports in my life, and I don't think this one's going to be any different, and I feel I'm probably going to do really, really bad on this one. Now, I felt that this could have been um, Heathrow. However, I don't think it's that. Um, hmm. I think this is the U.S., mainly because, now my guess, that I almost thought this was Heathrow, but since their local time says 2.26 p.m., I'm assuming that, um, foreign, uh, airports, I mean, not the U.S., will use basically, like, army time. Whereas this wouldn't be 2.26 p.m., this would actually be local time, 14.26. Bit of a stretch, I know. <clears throat> Everything's in English here. Urban Crave. Uh, what's on the TV? Just a commercial, another commercial looks like. It's United Terminal here. We've got authentic street cuts. Keep it real, huh? Looking at these bags here, what is your Korean passport? And the only other thing I've got to go off of is this says Pepit Pepito Pepit Papa Do. And it's gonna make me think that we're in New Orleans. I'm just putting us there because honestly I have nothing else. It's probably not. This could be like New York City or something. I don't know. Just made the guess. And we're just gonna look at um some zoom in here as uh, we go over the week. Your week so far. As we're Pretty deep into it, at least here in the U.S. again with this uh, quarantine. Now, depending on where you are in the country, you're um, taking precautions more than others. There was a website I found that gave um, estimated peaks and showed like a, a checklist of things that the state, each state has done, whether or not there's like stay-at-home orders. Um, the social distancing thing. There's there's a whole list of things, and certain states uh, have done all of those things, while others have done maybe one or two at the most. And um, uh, it was showing it for the entire country, and then you can go for each state in general. And ours, I think, for my state, was estimating that I think it was within the next few days here we we're going to be at the peak, and it looks like precautions that we've taken seem to have been working very well. However, um, I just decided, well, let's take a look at uh, Alabama. And if you gleamed anything from the previous episode, I talked about how low Mississippi was on their like health care and how it averaged for like health, obesity, poverty, things like that. And probably mentioned this too as well with uh, Alabama. Um, they're pretty much in the same boat. and looking at things like in the checklist of things to do, they've basically not done any of them. And as such, their projected peaks were like insanely high. Granted, these projections, they can all change. Hey, let's see if we actually got the uh, place right. Probably didn't. No, we were in Houston. Okay. I wasn't that far off. 
granted that's all I gotta go off of a friggin like uh photosphere i'll t I'll take that and it also made me think of hey, we're uh doing as best we can in certain places, but you know uh I may have mentioned this before you're only as strong as your weakest link well, uh, I found out where we are and say someone in the weakest link ends up going to traveling to a different part of the uh, country and does not heed their own advice. Um, they could just re-peak again in certain places. Like you can, um, I, don't know, I don't know a better way to put it, Warner Brothers Studio tour London, interesting. Um, like, <clears throat> Uh, if you don't take the precautions, it doesn't matter. Like you all have the same base body or like desirable thing of a, a virus wants. It wants to infect your body, and it doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, protected or not. If you hang out with someone who isn't, there's a pretty good chance you're you're gonna get it. Um, conveniently enough, here in London, I did see at the time. Uh, I think it was yesterday. I talked about Boris Johnson being put into intensive care and his cavalier attitude, at least at the time, saying, I'm going to keep shaking people's hands and not taking the precautions. And, you know, you can try not taking any precautions at all, but, you know, gravity doesn't, gravity doesn't, I'm just punching things, sorry. Gravity doesn't care if you believe in it or not. It still exists. You cannot believe in that you're susceptible like some other people are. There's still a pretty good chance you could get it. Granted you could not actually have any symptoms yourself, but it doesn't mean you can't give it to somebody else. And I'm sure that other person you could potentially get sick would not appreciate your, well, I'm fine, you know, attitude. Anyway, enough of that. Other things, what have I been doing? Um, I did actually remember, I think uh, a couple of weeks ago at this point, I don't ever remember the exact date. Uh, I think it was our third year? anniversary for maybe either second or third year i think it's three i think it started this in 2017 the, the of the channel i think it was sometime in march way back when evo and i in his uh like patio like basement but it was on the same level as the backyard office he had sitting there recording um episodes of Excuse me. Episodes of Uncharted. I've never actually been to Heathrow, so I have no idea um, where exactly we are in here. I know it's a massive airport, but that's all I got. Um, can we go to other... Oh, we're basically here. And who knew that three years later it would just be me? You know, cynical me kind of... Kind of thought that would be the case, but... Um, he made it about a year and maybe maybe a year and four months. I mean, you can tell when uh, we were doing, if you go back and just look at, we were doing Uncharted for a while, then we didn't. Then we started doing Shadow of Colossus, and then it just stopped. You can usually tell when routine breaks down and you try to change it up in some other way. Usually it's not a good sign. Uh, let me take a sip. And that was very much the case with it. And uh, I think it again, it was like sometime in October or November of maybe two years ago at this point is when I just kind of just did GeoGuessr nonstop. Um, well, we weren't that far. Oh, we're, it actually has an observation deck there. Interesting. Let's go to the next one. Well, this one... Um, let's, let's get everything loaded in here. I have this based off of nothing that I feel like this could be, what the fuck's on the back of this? Prince? This makes me feel like this could be Istanbul. That's Air Serbia. Well, um, I think we might be in, uh, over in here. However... 
I'm not completely convinced because it could very well just be the uh, terminal for uh, it's Nikola Tesla Airport. Where do they have Nikola Tesla's airport? Is he he's Ukrainian, isn't he? No, he is. No, no, no. He is. He's not. He's 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 from here. Are we in Sarajevo? Let's, is there an actual airport? Um, around Sar Sarajevo International Airport. That's mm, oh Serbia. Why don't we look in Serbia where? It said Air Serbia. <laughs> you dumb. There we go. Here we go. Got it. Um. Yeah. I kind of. I didn't. I don't think I did anything the year prior. For the anniversary for the channel, or I, I was totally not paying attention. I think it was wrapped up in some other stuff at the time about celebrating the channel. But here we are. The majority of the videos seem to be this. I keep thinking about doing some other things, but who knows if I will. That's old hat at this point. Speaking of old hat, I'm pretty sure it's done by this point, but I did actually uh, pre-install the remake of Final Fantasy VII. Um, there's a series of games I had from back when it first came out, when I bought my own PlayStation with my own money. Big, big thing back then, let me tell you. Um, I did the thing a lot of people did back then of trading in games all the time, and there was a chunk of them I turned in at one point for, I believe, it might have been a PlayStation 2. I don't know. No, I got that for Christmas. I forget. I brought in a bunch at one point. Very much like buying books at a college where you can spend 500 and get maybe $100 back at the end of the semester. This was no different with these games. But there were certain games I held on to that I actually liked and just enjoyed playing all the time. And Final Fantasy VII was one of them where I'd never played a Final Fantasy game before except for maybe renting one one time and ruining somebody's Final Fantasy III save. But... um yeah, there was, from 7 on, I basically have played, I think, every Final Fantasy. And there was a span, for, I think, from 1, I mean, from 7 all the way through uh, 10, that I had all the games saved up to the final boss. So if I ever wanted to, I could go back and play them all. Just beat the game again, except for 1, because my friend decided to delete my Final Fantasy 10 save. Um, yeah, I pulled it out a few days ago. Went because I like looking at that and seeing what the copyright date is on the disc, and it said 1997. Very old disc, and I can't even like start that game from from start because way back when I first got it, the disc got scratched, and I can only make it about 10 minutes in before a specific enemy shoots some sort of laser beam, and it gets stuck in an animation and loops over and over and over again, and then I can't get past that. But I can play any of the other discs. But kind of excited for this one. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Puerto One, is this? Um, oh, it's Hotmail. Puerta. This is a Spanish speaking locale. Uh, we're in, uh, I see where we are. I'm going to assume we're in uh, Mexico City. Looking, I'm just going to say we're there. Um, yeah, looking forward to this one. Watched a little review. I'm very surprised that they're apparently milking 40, 50, 60 hours out of the first, first uh, section of the game when you go back and play it in the original version. Definitely not that long. But, yeah. Kind of excited for it. We'll see um, whether I like it. I mean, it's still not my favorite one, Final Fantasy Tactics, because it's still my first one, which also brings me to another. Look at these segues. Um, overheard in a podcast uh, last week, someone just happened to say in passing that there was a mobile version, like a new Final Fantasy game for mobile, that it's got a dumb name. I can't remember the name of it. 
and it's basically the closest thing I'm going to ever get probably to a Final Fantasy Tactics remake. And try playing it. Let me see if I can actually get the name of it. I mean, I'm just going to say maybe avoid it, but maybe you're into it. Let me, let me see what it was called. Why is it? Let me, um, I got to search for it. It did not save it. War of Visions. It's a, it's a very silly name. It's like a gacha game, basically. Uh, it's, gacha basically means that, you know, there's a lot of time systems, um, things based, specifically designed to, you know, it's going to take some time to do this, but if you give us some money, or they're kind of like those things that don't exist anymore. Or when I was a kid at a grocery store, you put 25 cents in, you crank a little knob, and you get like a capsule that had NFL teams on little plastic helmets. You get a sticky little uh, plastic thing that's a hand that the instant you turn your head away, it's just covered in hair and lint because it somehow fell on the floor. Uh, a cup of slime that stunk that also would just inst instantly suck up any dirt, hair, or anything that was around you. It just got sucked to it. Uh, it gave it a chance. Very much was just like, I don't understand 90% of what they're throwing at me in these tutorials. The battles are not fun. I'm not much of a mobile phone person as far as playing games. I just may basically... Uh, um, I just basically... Uh, sorry, I had a message in my phone. Um, do crossword because I'm an old curmudgeon. But really would like Final Fantasy Tactics to get remade. It would be very enjoyable for me. Give me a sec. I've got to respond back to this text. Sorry. Give me a moment. Um... Uh, I can be ready in like 30-ish or so. Sorry. Very busy. Um, that's basically what my weekend's going to be. Since there's not much else I can do. Um, have been killing time over the weekends by looking at, not looking at, this seems like a place I've been. Payless.com? No, EasyJet? Oh, this is, this is Europe. Isn't EasyJet a uh, European awful um, plane company? I mean, it's super cheap and you know, you basically get what you pay for, which is nothing. I think they were the ones who, uh, who went out of business when recently, or, oh, your London airport. Is this Gatwick? We're in Heathrow again? Or is it like a second London airport, like a regional? Let's just take a look around. Zoom in again. Why can't I find fucking Heathrow again? I was just here. What the fuck? How could I find it the first time? We're south here, aren't we? Why can't I find it again? London, it was over here, wasn't it? This is insane. Mar I have Marble Arch. An Isle of Dogs. But now I don't have a Heathrow. What, what, what's that? Why? I am more surprised I can't find this a second time than I am about finding if this is actually that airport. Where did it go? Why is it like, now nah, we're not going to show it to you this time. All right, let's zoom out. Refocus. Come back in. 
Let's take a look. Heathrow's over here. Okay, that's why, because you were blind as a goddamn bat. All right, let's, let's, Gatwick. So, pre -ton so this is got to be not London, or not Heathrow. Pret London Gatwick. Okay, let's maybe take a look over here. Because I'm sure it's like a, just a little regional puddle hopper that's like around. But I'm not seeing it. This is, can, I, can I see a Gatwick like? Popping out here. It's got to be close to London. Don't see a Gatwick anywhere. Hmm. Anyway, take a sip. I'm sure I've looked over it like six or seven times at this point. But. Speaking of weekends and killing time, been looking at more board games to play with the, the girlfriend and tried a new one over the weekend. Let's see how far off I am. Okay, yeah, we were. Yeah, I didn't know where that was. We were close, though. Oh, Jesus. Ended that kind of quick. Um, I guess I'll save the board game stuff for... Friday, I'm very surprised that this uh, at least went by faster than I was expecting, time-wise. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, likes, favorites, comments, or subscribes, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you in a timely manner. Your uh, middle of the week is here. And just think how far we are into the into the uh, to the year we're like. Four months in, and if you're just thinking these past couple of weeks have just kind of been sucky, look at how quickly it got us to April here in no time at all. Time will just fly right by. I'll be here on Friday with another round of Guessing Geography. And if you have a suggestion for a place you'd like me to geographically guess or a theme just like this one was, go ahead and put it in the comments there too. See you Friday. Have a good one.